Abu Dhabi Dude! Hello, this is Abu Dhabi Dude! Welcome back! And it's uh, another vlog today, and today's is another uh, public charging adventure. And uh, not only is it another public charging adventure, it's another Charge Play Scotland public charging adventure. Now, I know you probably thought we've done Charge Play Scotland to death. But no, no, there is more in the mix to further confuse and complicate matters. So, um, on my public charging adventures, uh, all I've tried is the old-style Evolt chargers, um, which are the ones that look like this. I'll flick a picture up here now. These are the only ones I've tried on the public charging adventure videos. Um, and it's been a very mixed bag. And also on my road trip videos, they've been very very mixed bag of success I've got about a 50% success rate in total on these chargers um, but they also have a new style Evo charger which are the ones that look like this now they apparently work a lot better now I've only tried one of them but I've tried it on three separate occasions it's the one at Lomond Gate Services if you've watched any of my road trip videos you'll have seen that one um, and it has worked for me flawlessly. I have to say, I've tried it three times and it's charged me three times flawlessly. Uh, and it's charged me on every one of those three times. I've charged right up to, uh, well, one was a zap and dash, I think, but on two occasions I've charged right up to once to 99% and once to 100% um, with no issues at all. So, that particular one works flawlessly for me anyway and so therefore I'm assuming it works flawlessly with the iPACE in general um, but it is the only one I've tried and for peace of mind and for your benefit I'm gonna try a couple more now there's two within easy reach of my house one's about 40 miles away and one's a lot closer about t uh, I think about eight nine ten miles something like that so I'm going to go to both of them today, uh, starting with the further away one, which is at Cumnock. Now, the thing about that one is, it's brand spanking new, like brand, brand, brand new. And I'm not sure if it's actually plugged in and hooked up yet. The charger is there, it's physically there and been installed, but I'm not 100% sure if it's powered up or not. So we'll go, we'll try it, we'll see. If it's powered up, we'll give it a go and see if we get a charge. Uh, if it's not powered up, then obviously I'm not going to bother trying it. Um, and then we'll go to the second one, which is at Mabel, and we'll give that one a go. Uh, now that one is connected up, that one's been there a little while, so we should be able to at least test that one. Ideally, I'd like to try both of them out, but if they're not both available, um, then, you know, at least... I'll be able to try one of them anyway, which is the one at Mabel, but uh, hopefully Cumnock's connected. Uh, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll give it a go and we'll see. It's about uh, got, still got about seven miles to run to get to it, so uh, I'll get on with the drive. I'll leave you with a little glimpse of some some of the scenery around this area, and then uh, I'll speak to you when we get to the charger. See you then.
right, well, as you are about to see, uh, let me just cut across this way. Um, yeah, as you can see, so I'll just pull in so you can actually see it. There's the charger, um, and it is brand spanking new, but it is not yet connected. It's sitting there all raring to go. That's uh, it's a little frustrating because I would really like to have tested that one out because that's, you know, that's going to have the latest everything. It'll be on a brand new post. It'll be the latest boards, the latest firmware. Everything about that will be brand new. But, uh, unfortunately, yep, it's not connected yet. They haven't even taken the bubble wrap off the connectors. Um, so yeah, there we go. Okay, that's not a huge surprise. It's a little disappointing, still, nonetheless. Um, but it's not actually a huge surprise. I kind of, kind of expected that, in all honesty. So, uh, yeah, let's... Um, Let's get out of here and uh, let's get going to the next attempted charger, which is the one at Mabel. So once again, Charge Play Scotland fails us, but at least this time it's for a legitimate and valid reason, not just because the chargers don't work with the I-Pace. Um, at least this time it's not worked because it's not working um, which is yeah uh, easier to swallow somehow um, yeah as I say I was expecting that anyway so uh, it's a shame I was kind I was just hoping uh, that it would be switched on by now I knew it was off a couple of weeks ago um, I knew it wasn't connected then because somebody posted on Plugshare that it still wasn't powered up, but I was hoping in that two weeks they might have uh, managed to get it hooked up. But no, it was not to be, sadly. So, yep, uh, we're off to Mabel now. Uh, at least we had a bit of a drive, which is always nice in the I-Pace. Um, and uh, we'll head off to Mabel. We should be at a reasonable state of charge, somewhere between 50 and 60%. So, uh, at least I'm not charging up from 90%, like I often am on these... Uh, uh, public charging adventure videos. So yeah, off to Mayball we go and I will see you when we get there. Bye for now. arrived. Now I will take you with me. We'll get out and we'll head round and try out, see if we can at least get one charger to work today. Okay, so we're here. Oops, open my charge port. Now let's get to the charger and see what happens. As you can see that's the new style charger so as I said, screen, card reader, and no um, no physical buttons. So let's give it a go. Let's swipe the card. Authorised. I want CCS. Connect your vehicle. So let's... Whoops. There goes the CCS in. Okay, then back across to the charger. Just press the start button. Please wait. Okay, now the um, charging lights have gone blue, which can only be a good thing. And, and there we go, you can see now. We got charge going, 
no issues straight away first time uh, we're charging 0.37 kilowatt hours already so yeah as you can see from the dashboard that looks uh, pretty solid it's on it's uh, everything's green which is always good and uh, yeah we're at 57 percent and we'll leave it for a bit we'll get up to about 65 something like that at least i'll have seen a pretty solid charge then and then we can uh, we can get going and call it a day okay well that one was highly successful um feels strange to be saying that about a charge play scotland adventure obviously you know the it wasn't 100 percent successful because one of the charges isn't working but it's it's not a failure as such it's just not connected yet once it's connected i'm pretty confident that charger will work um i say that's two of that style charger i've used now loman gate and this one loman gate i've used three times and this one i've now used once and yeah not a single issue they work flawlessly um and i could not go four success i could i would put money on it that i couldn't do four successive visits to the old style evo charger and have a hundred percent success from them I would, I would almost put money on that fact i genuinely don't think you could get four from four on any day on the old style evos so yeah that was that's that's pretty much put my mind at ease and put my mind at rest I'm fairly confident now in saying that those new chargers, those new Evo chargers, just work with the iPace. I would say that fairly confidently. Um, so if you're planning a road trip, you want to plan around those chargers if you can in Scotland. Um, you can go onto PlugShare, check the pictures. You know, there's almost every charging stop has got pictures on PlugShare that have been shared by people. Check out the pictures when you're planning your trip see if there's enough of those style chargers on your route um, just a reminder this is what they look like if there's enough of those on your route to be able to just charge at them then i would plan around that i would plan to stop at them i wouldn't necessarily plan to do my abc policy that you may have seen on my road trip videos whereby i, I it's always be charging abc stop at every charger because you don't want to skip the one that would have worked for you that day um, but if i could plan a trip around those type of chargers and they were at suitable points i would quite happily just run the car down to 20 percent and stop at, the, at one of those new style chargers and charge up i wouldn't feel nervous about it not working um, and I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to do that on, on a road trip soon, if I can find a route that, that works with only those chargers. Um, so yeah, we're going, to, uh, we're going to call that a success. We're going to say that as of d today, those chargers have never let us down. So therefore, I don't feel that they ever will. Um, unless there's just a basic charger fault which can always happen it can happen with any electrical equipment so there is always a possibility that we'll end up you know with the odd charge not happening but i don't think it's going to be because of the incompatibility between the charger and the ipace it's going to be either charger has got a comms issue or there's an actual fault with the charger um but other than that i think those chargers are 100% safe I'm scared to say it I'm hesitant to say it because I don't want to jinx it but I think we're 100% safe on those so yeah um, there you go let me know if you tried them out with your eye pace and if you have let me know in the comments below and let's start a discussion about these chargers now um, so yeah if you do leave a comment we I will try and get back to you I respond to pretty much every comment Unless it's obvious spam or just downright abuse. <laughs> um, but I do generally try and respond to whatever anybody has to say on my on my videos. Um, so yeah, 
if you've liked the video then don't forget to click on the thumbs up those likes are hugely helpful for the channel and if you're enjoying my videos then do feel free to subscribe it also helps me out and it means if you subscribe and then click on the little bell you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and you won't miss anything so until next time this is Abu Dhabi Dude saying so long take care see you soon bye Never seen a cat play fetch before.